hello and welcome to the workbench. Look what the postman brought from eBay. It's a class 87. Well I saw this advertised at £45 and I put in a bid and nobody else bid. It's actually the wrong livery for my layout. So, although someone's done a very good job, haven't they? Because I think this is hand-painted. They've put on their own transfers. They've tried to de- they put their own jumper cables on the front there. The pantograph fell off. In the advert it said need a new pantograph, but it, it doesn't. It just needs fixing back on. But I'm going to repaint this, so it's an upgrade job. Well, this is the kind of livery I'm going for, with the, uh, the arrow here. And I've seen this picture, although well, it's in black and white, this is what's inspired me. It says it was taken on 7th of May 1974 and on that day Her Majesty the Queen officially launched electric Scot services by travelling from Preston to Glasgow. For some of the journey she travelled in the cab of 87018. So in memory of Her Majesty the Queen, God rest her soul, we're going to uh, number it 87018. Well I've got all these items left over from previous upgrade jobs, miscellaneous numbers, some flush glaze windows for class 87, some white metal, I know, all kinds of jumper cables and bits. Some British rail arrows and windscreen wipers. So these are the details I'm going to try and fit. I gave it a test run and the test run did not go well. We had a boopity boopity bump and then we had a <laughs> So I've taken it to bits. I have removed the driving wheels. First thing I noticed was the traction tyres are completely rubbish. So if I replace those, then the wheels might go around a bit nicer. Second thing I noticed, I'm going to have to get close up with the camera, I hope it focuses. Just look at this. You're not supposed to be able to turn that cog in the middle on the axle, it's not supposed to be loose. Both axles are the same. So I'm hoping a bit of super glue will fix that. Well, the, the repair didn't work because although the glue did stick, the actual shape of the little cogwheels on the centre axle was not perfectly circular anymore. Something had broken and snapped. So new wheels were needed. Well I've given it a coat of grey spray primer from a well-known car spares slash cycle shop on the high street. So next is to use the airbrush to give it some blue. 
I'm going to use rail match this time. In the past I've used precision paints, so I just thought I'd try rail match this time round. Well, we've had a coat of blue. I can remove this masking tape now. Need to paint the window frames yellow. Now, I'll probably do that with a brush. There we go. Let's get painting. There we go, painted yellow ends. That looks okay. Might need a bit more of another coat of yellow. But it's getting there, isn't it? So I'm going to leave that and wait for the elves to come and put the windows in and to put the wipers on and put the transfers on. They're very good are those elves, you know. Just leave it there and after a while they come. So of these white metal bits I found these jumper cables which I'm going to use. A whole bag full of miscellaneous bits. Which I must have got at a model railway show once. What I really want to show you is this. What we have here, courtesy of Judith Edge Kits, is a cross arm pantograph kit. So in this kit, We've got uh, we've got some instructions. We've got a wire. We've got some bits to cut out and solder, and a couple of little springs. So I'm quite excited about this little bit of a challenge. See what happens with this. Well I've started work and I found the instructions very difficult to understand so I've done two things. Firstly I found this photo on RM Web, which is very helpful from the point of view of analysing which bit is which. I also drew an Airfix style Airfix kits. Do you remember those back in the day? Exploded view of all the bits. Now you might notice here these arms. They're made of two bits and you have to solder them together. So I've broken them off the sprue. And I've done it this way. I put two arms, I put some flux in between them. I put the two arms side by side while they were still on the drill bit there. And then just put the solder down the middle and that worked. So I have done laminating he calls it. So I've done my laminating of all the bits that have to be soldered together. So um, let's go on to the next bit. Well I've made a little bit of progress. You have to be so patient with these tiny parts. But look, I'm halfway there. This parallel link at the bottom, it's an ingenious little bit of engineering but You've got to be so careful with your soldering. But I'm optimistic of a completion. Well the owls came, just like I said they would. 
finished all the windows and the wipers. We've got a number 87018, number at each end, and a white BR arrows in the middle, as was the early 70s livery. And, ta da! It's finished. And it works. So now we want to see what happens when we try and actually run it under the wires. Will it just all fall to bits? Ooh, nervous moment. <laughs>